On the chapter that I wrote, I made sure that it was addressing the myths and scares in the industry. So I've really highlighted, you know, what are misconceptions and, and just totally set the record straight. And actually, I was really lucky to work with Dr. Emma Meredith on this chapter, who is a really well-known scientist in our industry. And she's worked with um, journalists from TV and, and radio to set these myths straight, really. Um, she does that almost daily in her current roles. The book's been designed as a beginner's guide to cosmetic science. So it covers things like hair care, skin care, um, colour cosmetics, just as a very basic understanding. Um, it's sort of designed for anyone working in the beauty industry, like journalists or or hairdressers or beauticians or even scientists in other areas um, that are considering coming into cosmetics. It's kind of a, an entry point for them. We contributed to chapter eight, the science behind active ingredients. Uh, active ingredients are actually a really fun topic to write about because they are usually the ingredients in the formulation which are used by the brand to support the claims which they are making on the packaging. Uh, as such, it's quite a wide topic, so we decided to get lots of members of the team involved. Um, we partnered people up with experts and, and novices across the business, and we got everybody to contribute, and, and thus everybody could uh, learn from each other's experience. Uh, the topic covers uh, areas such as UV protection. So you can learn about uh, the difference between UVA and UVB and even UVC rays. We cover areas such as vitamins, so you can learn about the different water and oil soluble vitamins which are available for use in personal care products, uh, included in which is actually the most common active ingredient in the world. Uh, and we also learn about things like antimicrobials, so you can understand why uh, preserving your, your formulation is, is so important. I was privileged enough to be asked to write the skincare chapter in the SCS um, book on cosmetic science. And uh, the idea was that we'd have a, um, an expert um, collaborating with somebody who was less experienced in the industry uh, to challenge some of the questions that might be asked by um, the audience for the book, who are people who are relatively inexperienced in cosmetic science. And Nicola had the great idea um, of initially asking some question internally. So maybe if you explain how you, how you went about doing that. Yeah, so we set up a focus group with some of the technicians and the newer members of the team. And we sat down and I just said to them, if you were in the room with a skincare expert for 10 minutes, what questions would you ask? Because they were people who are already now working in the industry, they'd already got some questions. They'd been probably not that experienced, but been working at the bench making formulas, but hadn't necessarily thought to ask some of these questions. And we got some fantastic questions that came out of it. Things you wouldn't expect, actually, or maybe things I didn't expect. Yeah, it was a really good way to start. Uh, so we then framed our chapter about skincare around the questions which um, they, they'd asked. Air is our crowning glory. It changes how we look and feel about ourselves. Having a good hair day can make you feel transformed, as I will be transformed by my haircut into a very sensible person and author of the hair chapter in this most excellent book about discovering cosmetic science. Uh, add it to your reading list now. <laughs>